Hello my friends and welcome back to another replay cast from the ladder. This one was sent to me by dude nerd from seawall.gg and it is a pretty special game between Soma and Bisu. Love the colors here. We got purple versus red. I'm feeling it. Protoss versus Zerg here on retro. This was played very, very recently within the last couple of days. I've been a little busy with KCM, but I've had this in the back pocket here for a couple of days. Really looking forward to casting this game here. And a double probe scout being sent out for Bisu. A little bit interesting. He went for the forge here. Usually when you go for uh, the forge expansion, you're going to... Put down the pylon and then send out the probe. And then the second pylon comes to throw down the forge. But in this case, he actually drops the forge and then double scouts. An overpool here from Soma. Going to be grabbing his natural now. But looking pretty normal this game so far. Let me talk a little bit about this wall in here. We're going to have a gateway just on the top corner of this forge here and he should be able to put a cannon right there which really does a great job of protecting this forge we get that wall and there's going to be just a small gap here for which links can slip through but this cannon right there it makes it almost impossible to hit that forge uh, with some hydras so we've seen this a lot from uh, players recently from protoss players recently that they are going for this kind of different wall here. Oh, actually, okay. He's going to place it a little bit higher. Once Hex up, not connected with this forge. So this actually blocks, and then you've only got one gap right there. Just interesting. I really expected this to be touching. And now the gateway is really out there. But he manages to block right as those links are coming in. I guess if he placed it over here, maybe the links could have run by on this right-hand side there. So that's actually turning out to be a pretty decent decision. Gas is now done here for someone. Looks like he's not paying attention for just a second there. Trying to get that probe. We'll get his miners on that gas, though. Should be able to start a layer here shortly. And we'll see if he wants to go for a Hydra Den or... Does he want to go for that lair into a spire here and just play things out normally? This is a pretty decent map overall. Very reminiscent of Fighting Spirit. If you place your uh, second hatch here and another building right there, gives you a lot of space to drop uh, sunken colonies and stuff right here. You can really choke up this area. Alternatively, you can put the hatchery here and you can put some sunken colonies right there. Um, the natural here is pretty easy to wall in. You can put a hatchery right here. And then, you know, you put another building right there. You've got another tight little location here. One more building will really clog this up as well. So it, it is very turtleable here as Zerg. Which means we could end up seeing a... Oh, actually, what are we seeing right now? We don't have a layer on the way. We've got speed coming up here. Speed is on the way. No layer. Third hatchery. Okay, this is getting interesting, actually. This is getting uh, a little bit strange. I, we don't have an Evo chamber or anything like that. I'm really unsure of what's going to be coming here for someone. Let's see what's the Ling all in. What a drone just not doing anything here. This is uncharacteristic of Soma. Soma. Not mining with all of his workers right now. Does throw down another hatchery here. So he's going up to like six hatch. Hydra den at the front. So he's just going to defend with Hydra right now. This is a little bit unorthodox. Might throw Bisu off. Especially if he doesn't get in here to get that scout. Trying to get rid of this zealot as quickly as possible. So Zelt will end up going down there, especially with speed being done. It's pretty easy to surround and kill that. More drones coming up here. Flying into the main base. He will be able to spot that the Templar Archives is just about done. 
What do we have down here? Just another pylon. So Hyde just popping out. But I think we're just going to be a little bit turtled here for Soma. Soma going to focus on getting his drones out as much as possible and just defending his overlords purely with these hydras building all of his overlords here right there and just pumping out drones like a madman ling's gonna run by here jumping on top of that cannon an interesting move i do this sometimes and i usually end up regretting it diving on top of that um hard to get any kills here he's gonna try and run up into the main base now maybe he can get some kills going he is delaying the zealots from moving out, but usually the Protoss will just send one or two zealots into the main to deal with this and then send the rest out on the map. And if you don't build units to defend against the zealot uh, move out here right now, could be in a lot of trouble. DT is coming as well. We don't have an overlord here at the third. We've got one sunken colony there, but this DT could do a lot of damage. It really could. How many kills do we have on these Corsairs? Corsair, one, uh, this one with two, this, these others with zero. First Sucker Colony is coming up here, but the Zealots are about to arrive. So Soma seems like he was a little bit distracted by trying to deal some damage. And uh, yeah, now he's, he just doesn't have anything here. He's got to run the drones. He has to run the drones. He's going to lose quite a few, it looks like. Blocking the Hydras from coming up this ramp is super annoying. There's the Overlord. He needs to jump on top of these Corsairs. Overlord's going to go down so, so fast here. DT gets pulled back, and it's sent right back in the moment that that Overlord has been cleared. He's going to be able to kill his Sunken Colony for free, it looks like. More... Oh, God. He's going to go after this DT. Does not get the DT in time. Overlord is going to go down. Hydralis will fall as well. This is brutal, guys. This is a really tactical play here from Bisu. And I would have loved to see, instead of diving on the cannon here with the Lings, trying to get that quick and easy kill, focus more back at home at actually defending this attack. Because now he's going to end up losing so much here. It looks like, oh, is he going to lose the hatchery? Yeah, these two DTs going to work on that. One of the two hatcheries goes down. So he still has... A bit of a lifeline here. He can still mine, but the the mining is going to be very, very awkward. The two DTs slipping away now. They both have a couple of kills, at least four and three. Um, that's not including the hatchery, I think. That hatchery, just such a big kill right now uh, for Bisu. And really, Soma is just about down and out in this game. It's so hard to make a comeback from this type of position. He's going to risk it all though to go for a spire he sees that there's only three corsairs and no more are being produced right now so he's gonna try his best to get some mutas out on the field and do his darndest to pick off templar and probes try to get himself back into this game and we'll see if this gambit Ends up paying off. A lot of drones being transferred here to the center left. We don't have any defenses over in this position. Another hatchery coming down. Six hatch hydra. Going to be on the way here. And this force, quite scary. Three DTs. A lot of zealots in there. Against just pure hydra. Uh, and you've got storms here as well. Okay, storm. Whoa, 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 whoa. No storm? Oh. <sighs> We don't have any storm, guys. Is this upgrade just forgotten by Bisu? Certainly, he's had enough time to research that. But maybe a little too much going on on the map, and he forgot to research storm. He can't really push out right now. This is buying vi vi valuable time right now for Soma to try and get into his mutilus production. And maybe he can get out here. Ooh, a... Dark Archon being morphed. He's going to research Maelstrom, I assume, after this. Flying in here. He sees that there are Scourge out. But I'm not sure if this is going to trigger Bisu to build some more uh, Corsairs or not. He does have that Dark Archon, so maybe that's uh, enough in his mind to hold off uh, against these... Mutas that are going to be hitting the field. Here they come. How many mutas do we have? Seven. Should be looking for the snipes on the stamp. Well, it looks like he spotted the Dark Archon with those Scourge, though. So seeing that Dark Archon, things are a little bit scary 
if you're planning to dive in and pick off some Templar. Here we go. Maelstrom is not done. We do not have the energy for that either. Throwing down one storm. Two storms go down. Three storms go down. But he picks off two Templar very, very quickly. He could go for the third as well. Though he lost a couple of Mutas here. He's only got five left. Still enough to one-shot probes, though. Looking for some damage here. Looks like he's not going to find it for now. He's done a good job, though, delaying this move out from Bisu. I would have expected Bisu to drop some cannons on this high ground here a little bit earlier on. You know, when he had his little army over here. And then he should have the third base secured already. But Bisu's been very, very cautious. Oh, great Maelstrom there. Should be a storm to follow that up. Or maybe he'll just finish it off with Dragoon. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to let the Dragoons deal that damage. Corsairs are going to come up as well. Last Muta will run home with its tail between its legs, but there you have it. Maelstrom successfully utilized here. No wasted storms by Bisu either here as he moves forward. He's going to bring the probe up and take this third base. It feels a little late to me. Would have rather seen him take that with the massive advantage that he had but maybe he felt like that might have given soma a way back into this game but truly soma is he is right in this right at, at the moment he's got 46 drones he's got a great drone count here in fact beast only at 48 he really needs to add on some more probes right now we need to go up to like 60 probes to saturate these three bases but he's not building any at the moment Instead, focusing on this attack right here. And look at that defensive position. We've got a bunch of lurkers. Lurkers down here as well. Try getting up that ramp. It's not going to go well for you. So beasts are just going to back away for now. Big group of hydras moving down here. No, lings, excuse me, moving down here towards this base. I think these cannons will finish in time with the zealots buying a little bit of extra space for them. Beasts are going to head up towards this top right now, though. Can he shut down this base? Hive is actually done already with that uh, Defiler's Mount as well. So maybe he can sneak a Nidus up here. He needs to block this ramp, though. Ooh, picking off a Templar, I heard. His Ling's doing a good job. Adrenal is on the way now. Needs to block the ramp. Looks like he's misplaced that Hydra. And it appears that this base is going to go down with a relatively little defense here. He might want to go ahead and expand down to the bottom left now uh, that this has happened. Yeah, he's sending a drone down here towards the bottom left. He's going to take advantage of the fact that most of Bisu's army is over here at the top right. He's going to try and maybe make a move down towards this bottom center. No probes have been transferred just yet to this bottom center. So a little bit slow on the probe transfer. Again, not enough probes here being built by Bisu. A little bit uncharacteristic. Gonna get this fourth base operational here well before the main or natural is mined out. So that's pretty nice for him. Again, he took a huge advantage in that early game. And he's just been kind of sitting on it here while growing his army and getting his bases out. Technically, really, Bisu should win this game after killing that third base. But Soma's putting up a good fight now. There's the Dark Swarm. This Dragoon army is going to be much less effective than it was uh, previously. Breaking through Lurk Alliance is no longer truly viable here until we really make the big switch into Reaver, Archon, and Zealot Templar. That is the ultimate composition in the late game and what you truly need to break through positions like this. Double expansion here for Soma. He's really growing into the map now. Let's take a look at the upgrades. 1-1 one, one is done. 2-1 or 1-2 is finished for Bisu. He's going to be switching out of those armor upgrades though. Now going into plasma shields instead. Plasma shields are going to help out because there is plague on the way. Which lowers all of the HP to 1 or 3. Depending on the unit. Moving forward here. He's going to jump on top. 
of all of these lurkers. Good god, the zealots are just melting here. That's way too many lurkers. He throws down some storms and trades out a few lurkers here. Managed to kill off just a few of those. But that was a not a very efficient trade for Bisu. I, you almost want to throw away your dragoons at this point, although you really don't. They're going to get a huge plague on top of all of the men. These dragoons are just about worthless at this point. Being brought down to almost no HP plus. There's this Dark Swarm spell here that's just not going to allow any of them to deal damage. We are saturating the bottom left now. Soma holding that location. He may want to take 12 o'clock as well. Although he's more... Uh, Looks like he's more interested in actually holding this high ground. He doesn't have a drone up here, so he can't actually take the space. But just denying it from his Protoss opponent is actually going to be pretty valuable. All right, one Overlord going to go down here. If you had one DT right now, you could actually come up here and start to kill all of the Lurkers. But he doesn't have one. And it's going to be tough to break up this ramp. That's a pretty good uh, arc of... Uh, lurkers here. He does get one and he uses Maelstrom to get rid of these lings at least to, to hold them back for a minute. Now he can actually break up this ramp and while he's breaking up this ramp, what is Soma going to make uh, do on this map? What's the moves that he's going to make? He's going to send up lurkers here and possibly throw down a dark swarm on top of these cannons. Force out all of the storms from this location. Don't run everything up here, though. Yeah, pull some things back. You only need a couple of lurkers under the Dark Swarm to draw out the storms first. And that's pretty much what he does. Now, probes up here in the top right, but not enough units left up here in the top right to actually defend this location. Bisu, I don't think he'll be able to hold this base for the time being. Looks like uh, some army units going to make their way up here to the top right. Lings are going to be able to run past this, though, and potentially kill both of these probes, further delaying the base being taken here. Some drops going to come through. Storm drops on all these drones. Looks like zealots over here as well. Quite a few drones end up going down to those storms. He picks up. He's going to continue this uh, harassment campaign here over towards the center left. But we've got four Hydras here. Storms are going to possibly come out. No, no Storms left available. No energy for those, so they will end up going down. Well, that was some damage, but look at the overall drone count. So many drones are here for our Zerg players. 67 drones. He's going to be easily able to saturate all of his bases. And that first storm drop, well, it didn't really deal that much damage. It didn't really uh, crush the economy of so many. He's still pushing down here. So he slowly degraded the number of storms that are available. Still enough are left over, though, at this point that he is going to be able to clear out these lurkers. And more links coming up here. Now, finally, that transition into Reavers has begun. Reavers are starting to make their way down here, clearing out Lings and Lurkers, but the endless rallies of units coming from Soma is going to be a little bit hard to defend. That's really why you need these Reavers. Because the endless Lings with Dark Swarm, they will just eventually crack through everything. Unless you've got the Reavers to really splash damage all the Lings down as they move forward. Now Soma going to abandon this position. He's realizing... You know what? It's not worth it. Now that you've got Reavers and Archons up there, let's find another location that's a little bit easier to get through. He's going to head over towards the top right. Before this base is set up, this is the prime location for Soma to attack into. If he can get a Plague on all these units, it would be absolutely monstrous. Looks like he's not going to be able to. A great storm there. Going for that Plague. We'll get it down on a few units there, but... The majority are just going to end up dying before the plague fully takes effect anyway. Sort of pushing forward here right now. We don't have the biggest army for Bisu. Soma actually ahead in supply. Whoa, we missed something. I will put that on picture and picture a little bit later. As this push continues here into the top right. 
Bisu harassing on the other side of the map. Can Soma break through here and shut this base down? If he does not shut it down, things are going to get very, very hard for him in this late game. Oh, running right up here on top of the cannons. He doesn't have a Dark Swarm with this. Otherwise, he would be able to break this base much, much quicker. Here comes some uh, Reavers actually being landed here. More units coming through into the towards the top right. A nice storm there. Clearing, clearing up a lot of these uh, Hydralis on the map. And this base is saved. Really great save here by Bisu. Sending those Reavers back just in the nick of time to save this center right base. Very important that he keeps this alive as he gets his top right location from mining here. Hatchery in the center. Are we going to start to mine out the map? Even the center of the map here? I think it's a distinct possibility that we might go that far. Not enough mining around the map for Soma just yet. He has to reestablish his bottom left and get some drones over here to the center. Uh, he is throwing down plagues, but plagues on Archons, pretty uh, useless. That's about the worst plague that you can get. Um, it's valuable on basically any unit of any opponent except for the Archon. He throws that down. Um, and he does have... This is a great value target, though. Reaver with Plague on it is... They just die so fast. You can actually just run up and shoot them down incredibly quickly. Uh, whereas if you're trying to run up on Reavers normally, it, like this... No, Lynx are going to be attacking this a little bit, but look at that. He has enough health to just last through and uh, get that big shot off that's going to change the math here under this dark swarm and guys we're really going into a split map situation here this is going to be pretty incredible if we manage to hold on uh here as bisu to the top right what is going to be the plan for soma in this late game situation how is he going to be able to overcome these incredibly entrenched positions now i've been thinking about this a lot lately and i'm so glad that we're getting a game like this where the map is going to be moving towards a mine out scenario and what Soma's going to do is he's going to try to throw massive numbers of lings and hydras at this uh with some you know defilers and the lurkers mixed in but we're just going to get incredibly efficient here as bisu so efficient in fact that i don't think that uh Soma's going to be able to even with this middle being mined out i don't think he's going to be able to win out uh, in a long game here versus Bisu, especially if he gets this top right right here. Uh, he's just going to have more money overall, and it's it's going to be it's way too efficient for him. But uh, in my mind, I think that uh, the, the best play to do for a Zerg player in this type of situation might actually be to go for Queen. Now, hear me out, guys. Going for Queens... Oh god, actually, he might be able to break through this. This is pretty insane. Soma really rushing through. We might not even get that far. Uh, on the high ground here, we're still going to hold, but maybe he can prevent Bisu from taking that, that low ground uh, base here and kind of overwhelm the position. He's got so much on the map right now. He's ahead in supply. He's building uh, Mutus right now. He's got the Greater Spire, so eventually he will go into uh, Guardian, and that's that's kind of where I was going with this is you get into queen and guardian build like 10 to 12 queens and you have a bunch of guardians and then you come in with the queens and you snipe the high templar so sniping the high templar is the main thing fly in snipe the high templar and then you can break a position like this very very easily and the reavers can't shoot up archons are not very good at killing guardians either so Archon and uh, Reaver is pretty much all you're going to have left to defend once all the Templar are gone. And Guardians kind of deal with all of those very nicely. So um, we'll see if he makes that transition. He's building Guardians, but we're not going into Queens. This hasn't caught on yet. Again, this is just my personal theory. What I think is going to be the best in the very late stages of Z uh, ZVP. Dark Storm comes down. Look at him just running masses of units into this entrenched position here. And, like, Beast is able to just juggle back the Reavers here and kill so much more than his uh, Zerg opponent is able to. 
Looks like we don't have a observer over here. Looks like the yeah, there we go. Observer's gonna come up now. And I think he saves this base. How incredible is that? That was like not a lot of units guys that was not a lot of units here to defend like two reavers a few cannons a few templar and he held off an insane amount of zerg as it was pushing forward look at how the guardians can just poke away at these archons and uh they can kind of eliminate the reavers in that that's a lot of archons but they're taking a ton of damage from these guardians and some of them are starting to get picked off which is really not good for Bisu. He needs to cast a storm on these. Get rid of these. He just doesn't have any uh, any Corsairs or anything like that. He's actually pushed out into a weird position here where he's not really able uh, to defend properly. Nice plague there. Very nice plague. Does deal with the last guardian. Those guardians were more valuable than most I would say. Most guardians in these late game situations hardly end up doing anything. We haven't seen too much harassment coming from Bisu anymore. I think he realizes that his uh, win condition is just to hold this base and grind out this Zerg player in the very late stages. More and more units coming in here. More cannons being warped in. Zealots are going to come up in high number. We've got so much money here for Bisu right now. He's just going to toss in a ton of Zealots to clear out some of these Lurkers, and it looks like he will be able to do so. Reavers here just dealing so much damage He's gonna pick up those reavers and juggle them backwards as he moves uh the cannons are not gonna be able to do much ah oh, he loses the nexus that is a little bit frustrating but he's still got three thousand minerals in the bank by the way so that many minerals in the bank means that he is not gonna be running out anytime soon these two reavers have done an amazing job at holding everything off 17 kill reaver and i really want to see how many kills on this reaver as well more guardians being made more lurkers being made just some at 28 kills oh my god just imagine if we had queens get queens you fly in you uh brutaling all of these templar and then the guardians fly in and what are you gonna do there's nothing that shoots up here besides the cannons cannons and templar are the only thing you can brutaling uh goons as well dragons perfectly good target for queens but he's just kind of persisting with this play here where he's just focusing 100% on Lurker and Guardian. Uh, Ling and Hydra coming in as well. Still nothing interrupting the mining here for someone. He's got 74 workers. He's going to mine out of his bases very quickly with that number of workers. Oh, coming through the middle now, actually. Going to storm some of these drones down and someone has to respond here to this attack otherwise he'll just lose this for free while trying to push in here and the storms are going to come down on some of these guardians he's slowly poking this out but the storms again are the, what really ruins the guardian play you can throw down three storms per templar and it only takes two storms to kill a guardian so he is going to start to break through here but the army now coming up from behind going to hit this Zerg here from an awkward angle. Great storm there as well. Breaking through a lot of this. Archon just so powerful in these late game situations. The uh, Dragoons should be able to hit these Guardians as well. A lot of Lurkers here. Gonna hit that storm. Very nice there for Bisu. Lining up these Archons pretty good. But it looks like he will break through everything. And he really needs to pick up his Reavers, man. The Reavers have to be picked up here and saved. He cannot be losing all of the Reavers in this situation. He does lose the Reavers, unfortunately. But he will save his base, which is of critical importance. One more storm goes down. He will clear both of those Guardians. That Guardian goes down as well. These two looks like they're going to escape for now. And some last Templar kills going to go down here. As more and more is rallied forward for Soma. What do we have up here on high ground? We needed some uh, robos here on high ground to really start pumping out more reavers because actually Soma might finally break through here. It looks like the combo of spreading the guardians around and just picking away at those cannons and then the, uh, you know, lurkers high just running forward and dealing with those reavers has managed to break this top right and... Bisu is uh, looking to be in dire straits now. Another Guardian coming down. Going to be thrown away here. 
Not really going to be able to deal too much damage with that one. Another storm should come down. Just get rid of that. Guardian gets picked off once again. And yeah, another Zerg player here. A great example of just meeting that like tactical uh, economic play of uh, just becoming incredibly, incredibly uh, efficient is going to be met with brute strength here and just overwhelming numbers. And it's actually going to work this time. A lot of times we see on the channel that the Zerg player ends up wearing themselves out, just having no minerals left uh, in the end, while the Protoss player just sort of grinds huge, huge value out of every single unit that they have. But in this case, it appears that Soma just rushing through everything. So impressive, really, that he's been able to overwhelm Bisu here, who had every tool available and a massive bank to hold everything back. But I think the big problem here was he didn't build enough... He didn't build gateways up here. He didn't put, like, a couple of robos here to just keep pumping out reavers and... Uh, constantly reinforcing this position. All of his reinforcements were coming from here, and he tried to send an attack from his reinforcement line up to the to the se uh, to the center here to to get rid of what is kind of an insignificant amount of mining, really. Um, especially when these bases are still fine. Like we've still got plenty of money at these other bases here. A little bit funny that he decided to attack that center. Uh, rather than really focus on defending this top right, which I think would have been a better decision, but you know, some storms being thrown down here. A lot of Templar going down. You really need these Templar for those Archons. At this point in the game, it's better to use like more than half of your Templar for Archons and just save a few Templar for those storms. It's tempting to try and get all the storm value out first and then build Archons, but really you do need a lot of Archons to fight what has been fielded here by Soma, and we're dropped down all the way to 65 supply now. Just 65 supply remaining for Bizu. He is just about down and out in this game, but he's still got some mining here in the top right. He lost all the probes over here. He's down to 30. He's got very few probes at the moment. Mining going on down here right now for Soma. He's going to build a ton of sunken colonies just to make sure that he can defend this base because as long as he keeps this then he will have mined more than half of the map and he should be able to win um ju just by the, the pure numbers game of it guys he should be able to take this one as long as he can mine this out looks like a storm drop gonna come through he should be able to kill quite a few of these workers but with 57 workers I don't think that someone's going to feel too badly about that. A lot more units coming up this ramp. And there's not a huge amount of defense here. Dark Swarm's going to cancel out all of these cannons. So what you see is what you get. Two Templar with uh, one Storm available. And then a single Archon that's been plagued. This is probably not going to go well for Bisu here. Look at all the army just rushing up here. Bisu heading out on the map with a very small force. But not a lot he can do to save this base right now. He's got no Reavers up here, which is really what you need in these type of situations is Mass Reaver to hold everything back. And GG is called. All right. Well, Soma. Overwhelming, just pure Zerg brute force in this game against the efficiency of Bizu. Bizu not able to hold this base. Had he held this, it would have been a completely different game. Things would have gotten pretty scary, in fact, with just a few hundred minerals remaining at each of these patches. This is almost done. This is almost gone as well. The middle is about to mine out. And if Bisu held onto this and he's still got plenty of money left, this would have been a really desperate game for Soma, but he broke through he managed to secure this base and he kills the top right here. A brilliant game from Soma. It's so hard. It's truly so, so hard to macro off of this number of hatcheries, get everything together and bust through a position like the one that was set up here by Bisu. But he did a magnificent job of spreading those guardians picking through really the traditional way of playing late game 
Uh, Zerg versus Terran, or Zerg versus Protoss, excuse me. Guardian spread to suck up storms and kill cannons. Hydra, Ling, Defiler, Lurker, follow up to crush everything else. Just swarm after swarm after swarm to break through these Protoss positions. It's not the way I think that Zerg versus Protoss in late game will be played in the future. I honestly think, as I said before, it's going to be Queens. And let me know in the comments down below if you agree. Broodling on Templar to break positions uh, allows you to actually stack your Guardians as well. I didn't mention that. Like, you can come in, you throw down Broodlings, you snipe all the Templar, and then the Guardians come in as a stack. You may have like nine Guardians. You fly in, you just start right clicking down uh, Reavers, Archons, and Cannons, and it just works very, very well. You don't have to worry about that splash anymore and you can really utilize the guardians to the fullest let me know in the comments below if you agree guys that's the end of this cast and i'll see you in the next one